Hey there guys, welcome back to All Things Apple Plus. We have an amazing video to show you guys today. But before we do, before we get into this video, if you haven't already, subscribe to All Things Apple Plus. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. Subscribe, comment, hit that like button, all the above. And if you haven't already checked out my social media, please check me out on Twitter and on Instagram. But I wanted to first talk about you know, the crazy upgrade that I got, I ended up getting an iPhone XR and switching from the 8 plus the XR has just been just night and day and I'm loving every moment and bit of it. But I'm going to do a, a another video, another follow up on that. But today we're going to talk about Siri shortcuts and an amazing Siri shortcut tweak that I'm uh, pretty excited to, to, to show you guys. But iTweak, I'm going to leave the link for this website in the description below. iTweak will allow you to install third-party enterprise applications with so much ease and you'll be able to actually install developer websites like Tweakbox, App Valley, uh, all the above from this one Siri shortcut. And all you'll need to do is just tap on to get the Siri shortcut and you'll be navigated to the actual Siri shortcut app. Now, if you do get hung up in this in this situation where you're not seeing any sort of progress or the bar's not moving, just go ahead and close out that window, go back to iTweak, hit that bar again, and then you should see the page go ahead and load. That may be just due to my internet being slow for a second, but go ahead and navigate. To, you should see that iTweak and it should ask to launch in Siri shortcuts. And then from there, you can go ahead and get started. Go ahead. I currently have iTweak in there, so I'm going to hit replace on mine. You're, it's going to automatically load for you. And at the top right, go ahead and hit done. And then you should see iTweak right on your page right there in the purple section right there. And this is honestly just an amazing uh, Siri shortcut that will allow you, again, to install any third-party enterprise application or install different tweaks onto your, onto your device. So let's go ahead and check out what they have here. So they have a list of tweaks and apps, any sort of help that you may need, you can also find that out from here. But the list of tweaks and apps that they have is just enormous. They have so much stuff that you can download on this, just this one Siri shortcut. And it makes things so much easier. Now they also have different features that you can use on your iPhone. So if you wanted to, you know, uh, do like a little flash mob with your flashlight, or if you wanted to cool down your phone, or if you wanted to change up your wallpaper, you can do that. They have so much stuff that you can do to your device. So make sure that you guys do check that out. So many different features. And then as far as the download sections, the one of the main reasons that we're here is that they have all your different plus plus apps. So like your YouTube plus plus, your Instagram plus plus, Snapchat, all the above. They have everything that you need on here now I, I can't wait and i'm actually looking around to see if there's any sort of siri shortcut for emulators at the moment but uh as i'm gonna find as i find that out i'll be relaying that back to you guys but currently for your tweaked apps they have everything that you need right here so we're gonna install youtube plus plus and then we're gonna back out and then we're gonna go ahead and see that the app will currently load now if it does uh, again, it may be due to either my Wi-Fi being a little bit slow at the moment, but if your app gets hung for whatever reason or just gets stuck, just give it some time. It will load. For me, I, it, again, it might be just due to my Wi-Fi. So we're going to go ahead and let this guy load. And let me just say, I, I can't get over how simple, how fast this series shortcut is now again once we try to open up the app we may get the untrusted enterprise application just go ahead and go to general then go into or settings general scroll down to profiles device management make sure that you do trust the application back out and then you should be able to use the app just like normal and here you guys have it you have youtube plus plus again you'll notice that it is plus plus because you are getting the uh the wallpaper ads on here but just an amazing application to use to be able to download videos and be able to play them offline is and be able to even save them to your own you know uh, to your own library or to even to Dropbox or anything like that you it's just it's an amazing uh, app and an amazing tool that I use on a on a day-to-day -day basis especially if I want to download something offline or when I'm under Wi-Fi and then versus having to use any sort of data so it's just a uh, just a great app that I like to use. So if you do want to try this out, I'm actually going to a quick tutorial. If you want to download, you can go to your favorite, you know, YouTube site or YouTube video, and you can check out the different formats that they have that you can download. So if you wanted to download the audio to all the way from 1080p to 60 frames per second, you can do that depending on how the video quality or how the video was uploaded in the first place. You can download to the fullest extent 
of that video. So just an amazing tool, just an amazing uh, tweak that I personally use on a day to, again on a day to day basis. But let's go ahead and back out of there. And I re I'm just so excited that something like this is out on Serious Shortcuts, and that you don't necessarily need to use the Apple Gallery to get it. That you can go to a different website, and it will launch you back into Serious Shortcuts after just clicking a link to be able to download any of your Plus Plus tweaks. So like UFC Plus Plus, or if you wanted to get like you know uh, again Instagram Plus Plus, Snapchat Plus Plus, you can do all of that. And they have just a, you know, it's very user friendly and it's very helpful. So I hope you guys like this little video, this little tutorial. If you guys did, please like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos on all things Apple Plus, and I'll be catching you guys on the next video. Peace.